Hey, how's it going, everybody? Gabriel Santiago here. This is the Speaking of Harmony podcast, and this is episode 31. All right, before we go into uh, today's subject, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, activate the little bell to notifications. This is my social media stuff, and don't forget to hit the like button. It helps a lot in the video. And uh, don't forget to sign up for the main list. There's a lot of great stuff coming up. Don't want to lose that. Link in the video description. All right, so the question today is like, what the hell is samba funk, right? Samba funk, it's like an um, interesting word, like a mix of words, so you would guess it's a mix of styles, or what is, what is that basically, right? Um, it's something that I, a groove that I use a lot, you know, and I show a little bit of that on this top six samba grooves I did here. Um, you know, link here in the card, if you wanna check that video. Um, so basically, when we talk about samba funk, it's basically uh, like a movement that basically started in the 60s in Brazil when uh, people started combining Brazilian music like samba and other stuff with, with American rhythms, like styles like funk, like American funk, right? They start to merge all these languages and you, get, you have guys like, like Don Salvador, great piano player who started doing stuff like that. And then a little bit later, you get this unbelievable band called uh, Black Rio. Band the Black Rio, they are kind of the masters of this style, if you will call it out like that. It's like a style, a general, a subgenre of samba, if you will. Um, they start merging, you know, American funk with samba and all these these grooves, and and it's just a great and taste like mix of styles. Um, what we call today, you know, nowadays a groove, like as a groove, like a samba funk groove, you know, is something that. It's well kind of known in the circles of musicians in Brazil and stuff. You kind of, okay, play a samba funk groove. There's a way of doing it, right? So it's, I showed in that video before, you know, that I use a groove that works in the samba funk setting, which is something like that. Like one, two, one, two, one. kind of a simpler version of that it's just basically you take the just in very very practical terms right you take the summer groove like uh and then you really kind of get heavy on the second beat which is the strongest beat by the way and leave it out the first accentuation on the first beat so it's like one two one two one two one two one two one two and then like that right but also you can do uh, a samba funk variation if it can be this like uh, boom, boom. So if you play a groove like that, it would be something like that. One, two, three, five. Uh, uh. If you want to play all the basses, there will be something like that. Right? That's basically what a samba funk, like a regular samba funk groove should kind of behave, right? And people mm. use that in many ways, mixing like in, within a song, like both styles, they, they do like say the A section in like a samba funk groove and then they go into regular samba and then maybe go um, into the, uh, you know, the ending or the another part and back to that samba funk groove, right? So I'll show this song that's a very famous song that you know I love to play this song it's called Partido Alto number no. 2 by the great Jose Roberto Bertrami and I'll actually link the video here in the description for this song that I'm playing and also for some Don Salvador stuff on the piano so like in the, the, the beginnings of that and to a very famous song by the great band uh, Black Rio called Maria Fumaça it's a great 
great groove and great kind of example how all this stuff developed and how that came to fruition and you have stuff like that today right so this song goes like this uh the first section is on samba funk and then almost like i was a, a partido alto groove too they're kind of like similar but different in a, in a way and then the bridge goes to uh samba and then the very very ending goes back to samba funk so it's something like that uh like one two two <laughs> see I use like two variations of the samba funk groove the first one I was more like you know in doing this then go to samba and the little section the F sus and A flat sus I did more of that variation that I showed in videos before accentuate the two right one, two, one, two, one, two. and then boom 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 ba, ba, so that's basically it you know um, I'm resuming a lot of stuff there's some variations and stuff you can do especially if the drummer changed the groove a little bit but most of this is kind of the foundation of that groove or what that groove is today and if we check out the link description you see you know great artist Nacon Sesson bass player um, playing this song with um, and the drummer is actually the son of the composer himself by right? playing drums um, Vitor uh, on drums and you can see that kind of vibe happening samba funk first to samba and then going back to samba funk and um great solos and you can also check out the description for you know don salvador playing uh, on his album trio piano trio and then uh, black rio playing this great song maria fumasa which is like the beginning of all this the beginning of all this movement that you know that, that give breath to this give birth to some of these grooves that we do uh, today just generally saying hey just play some samba funk groove so the drummer knows what to do um, I know the guitar knows what to do it just all came from those guys so please check those videos um, have fun with this groove if you have questions about it let me know in the comments you know I'm happy to you know kind of interact and and talk about that um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel activate the little bell to the notifications this is all my social media stuff don't forget to sign up for the mini list and I'll see you in the next video.